Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our enchanting tale. Today, we're diving into the heart of a winter festival in a small town by Lake Tahoe. Picture this, a vibrant tapestry of colors and sounds, where laughter and music fill the crisp air. Colorful banners flutter in the gentle breeze, and the scent of cinnamon and pine wraps around you like a warm embrace. But, oh, there's more beneath the surface. A peculiar snowman stands at the center of the square, casting a curious shadow over the festivities. Buckle up, because this chapter is about to take you on a magical journey. As the winter festival unfolds, Finn, Lila, and their friends stand at the edge of the town square. Their breath is visible in the crisp air, mingling with the laughter and music that fill the atmosphere. Colorful banners flutter in the gentle breeze, and the scent of cinnamon and pine wafts through the air, wrapping around the children like a warm embrace. Yet, beneath the festive exterior, a current of tension ripples through the crowd. The townsfolk cast wary glances at the peculiar snowman standing proudly at the center of the square. Finn's heart races as he watches the adults whisper among themselves, their faces etched with skepticism. The snowman, with its glimmering eyes, seems to reflect the very essence of the children's hopes and fears. Lila, ever the brave one, squeezes Finn's hand, her bright green eyes sparkling with determination. We have to show them, Finn. We have to prove that the snowman is special. The children gather in a huddle, their breathless excitement mingling with the chill in the air. They devise a plan to showcase the snowman's unique ability to create stunning underwater sculptures a talent they had discovered during their secret visits to the lake. Finn feels a surge of courage as he speaks, his voice steady despite the fluttering in his stomach. If we can get everyone to the lake, they'll see what the snowman can do. But as the children prepare for their demonstration, the townsfolk's skepticism reaches a boiling point. An elder, his face lined with worry, steps forward, his voice booming over the music. This snowman is nothing but a harbinger of misfortune. We must protect our festival from this. This creature. Finn's heart sinks, but Lila stands tall, her voice unwavering. No, the snowman is our friend. It reflects our fears. Yes, but it also holds our joy. We can't let fear dictate our hearts. The crowd falls silent, the tension palpable as the children face the adults their resolve shining like the twinkling lights above. As the sun dips lower in the sky, casting a golden hue over the festival, Finn feels a shift in the air. The whispers of doubt begin to fade, replaced by a flicker of curiosity. The children, united in their belief, lead the townsfolk to the edge of the lake, where the water shimmers like a thousand stars. With bated breath, they watch as the snowman begins to move, its form shimmering with an ethereal glow. The water ripples, and from its depths emerge breathtaking sculptures, each one a reflection of the townsfolk's hidden joys and sorrows. Gasps of wonder fill the air, and Finn feels a warmth spread through him, a sense of belonging that he had longed for. In that moment, the festival transforms from a mere celebration of winter into a heartfelt gathering of community. The townsfolk, once skeptical, begin to embrace the magic of the snowman, their fears melting away like the snow under the sun. Finn, Lila, and their friends stand together, their hearts swelling with pride and joy, realizing that courage and connection could indeed heal even the deepest wounds.